three-minute rounds of featherweight action on the way. Let's meet the fighters. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner, this man who's representing Team Maximus MMA, it's Kyle Holton! And his opponent standing across the cage, fighting out of the red corner, representing IPC Wrexham, it's Adam Coldwell! Here we go, Steve, for our amateur featherweight bout. We've got Kyle Hulton from Team Maximus MMA. He looks an incredible nick, mate, for his uh, second amateur fight, uh, facing off with inspire performance senses adam caldwell looking forward to this one seen caldwell before he brings it yeah, anybody a, from max will yeah, bring a fight two strikers i believe mate yeah again young kids as well 17 18 year old kyle halton pumping out that jab and yeah, nice use of the inside leg kick an inside to the like calf like not oh, that, to the knee which that's is, horrible the calf kick is the one of the most painful it's really hard to shake off so every time you, your foot lands you know you're, you're engaging your calf and again a nice low calf kick yeah he's he's not chopping near but just and, above the knee yeah Caldwell didn't like what he saw necessarily then and just looked to s grip against the, the fence and take his man down we've, we've got Hulton just reaching over with a with an overhook just controlling the posture of, of Caldwell preventing him from striking Caldwell right in his corner though you can see Cornerman given low given instruction as he pops his head out of that control. Wow. Nice, nice. So now he's release arm, but he's, he's still got a strong whizzer over that. The, the far side arm away from the, the fence there. Holton's really controlling posture with that. Again, I, I like the patience that's being shown here by Caldwell. Yeah, experience, and also when you're in your own corner and you've got experienced people whose opinions you trust, they really talk you through it, and that slows the fight down. It's like, it's like almost cheating. <laughs> okay, with only three minutes, though. I mean, again, when you're on the bottom here, you, you must be conscious of the time you're spending kind of trying to get up. Yeah. See, the wizard, the wizard is obviously not a tool in order to get up. It's a tool to keep your, your opponent close to you and obviously prevent them from, in certain situations, attacking the back. But, yeah, you see, Holton's actually a lot busier up from bottom, but that explosion uh, Corwell just uses to pass to, to half guard, but still got his head in a low position. Yeah, no danger of the sub here. It's just stopping Caldwell from improving yeah. position, right? Breaking posture and, and, and frustrating him, really. When you're in a top position, you want to have opportunity to posture up and, and control strikes. But see, wait, now, now it's a little bit more of a threat. I mean, hammering the body from the bottom. Yeah, just, just softening up those, that, that floating rib area. But see, if Cal was looking to now pass, get this knee through, this knee slide oh, pass nice. into mountain. Yeah, and just slides into the mount. And moves his opponent away from the fence. It's very experienced way of, of operating. Well, Hulton, again, putting his feet on the fence, looking to run up the cage, but breaking posture. You've got Cole with his hands on the mat, potentially, but controlling again with nice great lines and high mount now, raining down shots. Hulton does a good job of uh, bridging and breaking his opponent down. He's not, he's definitely here to win. Yeah, he gave nothing up, a couple of shots, but quickly retied his opponent up with that body. Yeah, and a, and a, and a good sportsmanlike reset. Yeah, for entertaining first. first three minutes. Now, we were saying that the, before the first, you know, both with a, a bit of striking. Maybe in this round, we're going to see a little bit of that now. Oh, if I was Adam Caldwell. I probably just use my striking to, to perform exactly what just happened, Steve. So, yeah, we'll see. It looked like there was a, a definitive game plan to me that they were going to use a distance yep. control the strikes and, and, and put, put Hulton against the fence and look to take him down and, and boss proceedings there. So, we'll see if that emanates and comes out in the second round also. Hulton going to be Hulton going to try to keep uh, Caldwell at distance? Yeah, I think that he's going to look to hurt him now. All I right. think that he's going to come and, and, and like sit down on his shots and look to hurt him on the stand-up in the knowledge that 
Colwell could potentially look to take him now. Right, here we go. Second round in this featherweight contest. Neil Hall gets ready to start us out, and here we go. Again, they're both kind of standing. Oh, yeah. Wings and over and right in, but oh. Colwell says it's going to take more than that. Here's another one. Ooh. And again, that little, that little one. outside leg kick took him off balance, stopped yeah, not having power. It, it pushes him toward, yeah. It pushes him away from where the power starts, yeah. Oh, see where he tried to time that knee there. Yeah. Obviously, knees to the head are allowed in the amateur competition this evening. Does a good job of lifting his hips up, yeah. but actually puts him onto a post. Nice. Oh, scoops us under those hips and really works for that takedown. A nice scramble in the side control. Yeah, they almost had like what's called a twist the side control there, but adopts a little bit more of a pose. Nice. Pass it into mount. Feet so, nice. like we said about game plan, Steve, yep. this, could, this could be something that we're seeing here. You know, uh, Aaron Aby, one of the most thoughtful coaches uh, in, in UK MMA, really likes to put a dossier together for his guys. And stacking, stacking Holton up against the cage now. Yeah, Holton wants to win. He's getting good instruction oh, for the Maximus corner. Exposes his back a little bit, but he's not in a bad position against the fence. Looking to try put up, maybe get out of the back door. Oh, goal. nice. Caldwell allows him to. Yep. Nice little kick to deliver that. Essentially, we just got back to that neutral yeah. position. Good left up on the way through, though, by Corbell. Looking eyes wide open, nice and relaxed. Perhaps mouth a little bit more open than would be choice, but there's a nice right high kick. Fine, you know, Holton throwing things in. The yeah, Holton enjoying it on the feet, going for a little bit of walk, and like I said, really digging his shots in now. Looking to stuff another takedown attempt from... Caldwell, who's working nice, hard. Nice, nice outside trip. We see we've got like a, a half Nelson on this side that's just going to slow proceedings down. Holton just getting reminded about feet and, and fingers in the fence. Caldwell Controlling that with a good overhook, but you see that Caldwell's arms are on the inside, could deliver a nice little hammer fist there, but perhaps looking to regain composure, get his breath back. Good head position there. Good head position. Neil Hall's that looking for action. The instruction from the corners, cl clear that left hand and use it. Clear that left hand and use it. And it looked like looking he's trying to, to start. Inside biceps. Holton really not opening his guard. He's happy to control, restrain. Yeah, really thwart uh, Caldwell's attacks. Again, very... Very good work off his back, avoiding any significant damage, avoiding any submission attempts. And actually putting a little bit more damage on from underneath. So a good entertaining close round again. Uh, and, and, and that's the sportsmanship that you got to love about MMA. We just punched each other in the face for six minutes. Well done. We got three more in a minute. Brilliant. Because it is a sport. Amen. It might be a fight, but it's a sport, isn't it? These guys bear no ill will to each other, apart from the fact that they want to win. Yeah. Although, if you were looking at the weigh-ins yesterday, you might argue that Makiev was was definitely not trying to be sportsman, like trying to get into the head of his of his opponent, Jack right. Eaglin, later tonight. Well, yeah, that's a fight that's been building and simmering underneath the surface for almost 12 months, so it was good to see him finally square off, and we're even more excited about seeing him square off tonight. Absolutely. The UK, UK Fighting Championships have got that fight, one of the hottest flyweight fights in, in, in the country, I think, at any level. Maybe given those last last minute instructions. Just I, making sure his fighter stays switched on. They probably know he's two rounds ahead. I want to make sure he stays switched on, doesn't make amazing any Amazing how left. animated he gets in the corner compared to how he is when he, it's just amazing to see him really kind of fire up. The contrast between fighting and coaching is huge. Here we go, our third round now. Can Holton find a way to put a stamp on the third round? It's the battle of the beards here, Steve. Hey, Amen. Both of them with better beards than us. Well, maybe Speak not you. for yourself, pal. <laughs> Come on now. <laughs> See, Cobble just letting him off the fence a little bit, which is a smart move. Just inviting him in. It's much difficult to stuff a takedown just off the fence than it is on the fence. It's a different technique altogether. There you go. You see, there's the re-entry. 
I mean, he gets uh, he gets under the hips really well, but yeah, that's a nice, nice sprawl. A nice, by deep, a nice deep shot, but you see the way he's control with his left hand there, controlling that thigh, and then creeps up a little bit, but ooh, attacking ooh. the neck. Goals Maybe for, looking for a guillotine there. Yeah, an no, arm I mean, guillotine can be difficult to, to finish there. We see he does have the arm trapped, so yeah. Well, he's, he, he doesn't look like Caldwell's really under any threat. That he's actually pushing down on the knee in order to pass, so. He's not really threatening the grip and fighting hands and all that good stuff. So what's the court? What's the quarterman say? Like he, he's, Holton's right in his corner. What were they telling him in that when he had him in that position? I, they're probably telling him to put the squeeze on. They they know the, the understanding of the fight. He's actually gone to full guard now, uh, and and Cole's like posturing up. I, f I think the arm's almost out, so it's not far from a, from your traditional traditional guillotine. But but Cole doing a good job of, of stacking his man, tripoding up. Getting some good instruction from the corner, being told to switch it to a Marcella team. But see now the angle that that Cole has created yep. makes it very difficult for for, for Hulton to, to you know to collapse his hands yep. together and get real a real squeeze together. So again, this is one of those tough positions though because yep. you, you know Caldwell is in top, but he's really kind of. You see now Hulton's like give his arm away and lost it. So yep. but now he's again he's gone to that good control position, just breaking down, posturing in. Caldwell's putting his head into Hulton and, and, and still remaining busy and doing enough for, for Neil Hall to, to respect the action and not stand them up. And Hulton, having, Hulton's really enjoying himself down there, but that ain't going to win you the fight as he looks oh. to lock up a triangle there. And Caldwell straight onto that, that threat and pushed out. Very difficult to finish a triangle in the third round. Nice. Obviously with the sweat they, that they've created within the previous eight minutes. As soon as he felt those legs go up high, he just shrugged the shoulders and he slipped out. It was nice. We see the, the sneaky little thing that Holton keeps doing. He keeps like straightening his legs out, which puts a lot of pressure on the abdomen of, of, of Corwell. So oh. we, there we see Hall stand them up. Off looking a little bit tired. Oh. Nice entry. Nice entry. Another good, another solid takedown. Oh, he's looking to attack the Kimura. Three rounds of control, I think, but that's, that third round shows that there was still plenty of fight left in Holton. Man, I almost won another round. I wanted, I wanted this one to go to a finish. I think that would have been a 10 rounds. I think the boat. Oh, very fit, good enough for this, so respect yeah. to both competitors. Very entertaining technical fight. So our judges are going to be called into action yet again here at the UK Fighting Championships 5. While we're waiting for their decision, give a quick shout out to the people taking me home tonight. No, Carl, it's not you, it's Miller's Taxis, Preston's Premier Taxi. I'm sure I'm paying for it, mate, so... Whichever way, mate. Hey, well, happy. as long as you're paying for it, I'm happy. Give a shout out to T Nutrition, Combat Mats, Next Level Fitness, and Empire Grappling Events, all sponsors of tonight's event. We take it to our MC, who will give us a decision. Ladies and gentlemen, another one that's gone the distance. Please show your appreciation to both our fighters. And so after three rounds of action, we head to the judges' scorecards where we have a unanimous decision for your winner in the red corner, Adam Caldwell. And your continued appreciation, please, for Kyle Holter.